Okay, dear students, let us see what is there in this question. Now, the graph shows the variation of the peak output power with time of an alternating AC generator. Okay, so they're talking about the power and it is the AC generator. Okay, which graph shows the variation of the peak output power with time when the frequency of rotation is decreased. So the frequency of rotation is decreased and you must be remembering the formula um, E is equal to E naught sine omega t. This is basically the voltage output. So don't get confused. I am going to replace it with V because your books are saying it's V not E. So V is the voltage difference and that is V naught sine omega t and the V naught value if you remember it is NBA omega sine omega t like that. So this is V. Clearly the amplitude like this is V and the power power will be the product of V into I or clearly we can say V square by R because we do not want to find the current now. So we can use V square by R instead of commenting on current. Although even that will be the same thing. I will be equal to V by R. So you would be getting the same formula. It's better we use for V square by R. So V square by R means that it is going to be NBA omega sine omega t. So even this is squared. Even the magnitude is squared and this is divided by the resistance R. So this is the power that they want you to comment on and they are reducing the omega. So omega is reduced. So we have to comment on what is going to happen. Number one, the magnitude is definitely going to fall because omega it is directly opposed to omega square. So if omega is reducing, so the amplitude is reducing. So this height is going to reduce first of all. Number two, we are clear about this thing. Like if the frequency is decreased, if the omega is decreased, the time period will be more. So in this case, the total time period is two. So definitely the new time period will be more than two, whatever it is, but it will be more than two. Now let us see what are the available options for our answer. So these are the options that we have. And uh, so in P in B, the amplitude is not reducing. Here, the amplitude is reducing, but the time period is still T. In this, <clears throat> the amplitude is lesser and the time period has increased to 4. So this is one of the possible things. I will not say that, yes, this is the case because it is not given that frequency is actually getting half. That is not written. So it should be more than 2. It could be 3, 3.5, 4, 5, 6, whatever. But yes, this is correct. In D, the amplitude is not reducing, but yes, the time period is increasing. So D is wrong, B is wrong, A is wrong. Clearly, the answer is C. And this formula is given in uh, SOCOS, but I'm not sure about uh, the data booklet. But this is given in the SOCOS, and you can refer to the theory there. You can open that chapter, and you can read this thing. The 11.2, uh, I believe, isn't it? So this is how we do this question, my dear students. Let us uh, verify the answer from the mark scheme also. <clears throat> and yes, the answer is C. So this is Professor Varun. Thanks for joining. Please spread the name. Tell all of your friends to join this, join this YouTube channel, to subscribe the YouTube channel. And I have started uploading the paper two questions also. Please join the YouTube channel. All the best. Bye.